Here we have a new 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Limited in the Denali trim level. Comes in that gorgeous cayenne red tint coat on jet black perforated leather seats. And this one in particular comes with a 6.2 liter V8 with no auto stop. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It also has the ultimate package so you get the power sunroof power running boards and then those 22 inch aluminum wheels but there's that signature Denali grill LED daytime running lights headlamps and fog lights and there are the 22s there and today I'm going to start out with just showing the window sticker So this one stickers for right at 68,225. There are the options there. And there are the standard features there. Let's see if I can get a good look. It's kind of a glare out here. But now we'll go on to the features. Here we have power door locks, power windows, power mirrors, as well as power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors. And then we have memory seating. Bose sound system, electronic parking brake, headlamp controls, four wheel drive controls. And then here we have our power driver seat with power lumbar support. If I can get a nice glimpse of that headrest there. Now onto the back seat room. So great leg room back here. I'm six foot three, have plenty of head space and I feel like I'm in the back of a Mercedes right now. So that's good. <laughs> But down here we have our rear AC vents, a USB-C port, and then a USB-A port to charge, and a 12 volt. Cup holders here, and then there's a view of the front. And there we have our cup holders and a little storage in the center there, the center seat. And we can fold the headrest down, clicking that. But now let's go ahead and Check out the back. So there's our back end there. Then we get LED tail lamps. And there we have our bed there. Also has a spray in bed liner. And then of course we can fold this down and use that step there to hop in about fail. <laughs> and then that all just snaps back into place. And there's our power front passenger seat, power lumbar support. Now, of course, the 22 is supposed to have a refresh close to the middle of the year. So we'll be looking out for that. That's why these are limited. But let's take a look under the hood. And there's that 6.2 liter V8. And now we'll hop in the driver's seat. So 
So we have a leather wrap heated steering wheel here. And then over to the radio, we have AM, FM, and XM along with Bluetooth audio. And we also get wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's our navigation screen there. We get a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then if you're ever towing anything, you can go through a checklist there and even set up a profile so it knows kind of what to do whenever you hook up a certain trailer. There's our backup camera there with guidelines. Of course, as you turn the steering wheel, the guidelines kind of show you where you're going. And then we have our climate. So we can pull up our dual zone automatic climate controls either on the screen or we can adjust them down here. We have actual buttons to go with our three stage heating cooled seats. But here we can pull down the tailgate with the touch of a button, hill descent, stop the running boards from retracting, a few other features, trailer brake controller. Then we have a USB-C and USB-A input for the radio that also can charge. Then we have a 12 volt and then I think 115 volt three prong household plug in there. And then we have a wireless charging pad, a little storage, and then two cup holders up front with a little storage here. And a huge center console cubby space. Then we have two more USB ports and aux and then an SD card reader, which runs that navigation system. And then we have the sunroof. So along with our power rear sliding window and the universal home remote, we can one touch tilt and slide our sunroof open and close with all that sun sh uh, sunshine in. <clears throat> And there's a view of the back seat from up here. So here we have our glove compartment with our owner's manuals, which is already a pretty good size. But then we have the second storage area here. So to the left side of the steering wheel, we can toggle our cruise controls, set, resume, cancel, that heated steering wheel toggle. And then we have Bluetooth controls here, and then we can go through our gauge cluster using this here. And then plenty of options to choose from, whether you wanna see fuel economy, trip meters, the navigation, what you're playing on the radio, your phone, and then you can, of course, set everything up. And then we can toggle our favorites or trackless controls here on the left side of the steering wheel. And then behind on the right side, we control our volume. Now for our shifter, it's just a column. So we just hit the brake, pull down, reverse, neutral, drive, low mode, and then we can shift in low mode. And it'll show you what gear you're in there on the gauge cluster. And just pull all the way up for park and then over here, you can toggle the normal mode, sport mode, or off-road mode. And then you can also toggle the tow haul mode as well, and it'll populate in that bottom right to show you that that's what mode you're in. So you just toggle it to the left for the tow haul, and then you go through your actual drive modes here. You just keep tapping right. There we have our push button start. And finally, here is our key fob with remote start. So next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2022 Sierra 1500 Limited Denali out on the road for a quick test drive.
So I have it in sport mode now and it still drives pretty well, not overly harsh when I give it light throttle, but then when I put my foot down, it's ready to go. I'm gonna put it into normal. And of course, with it being a 6.2 liter V8, it's still pretty fast, even in normal mode. And I'm not gonna drive it too hard just because there are only a few miles on this one and it has it heated up. But I will give it a, a little bit of throttle here. But just a really fast truck. And people are known to put exhaust modifications, intake modifications, make them even faster. course really good ride quality with a magnetic ride control even on these huge 22s And the shifts, of course, with the 10 speed automatic are seamless. And overall within the cabin, it's just a really nice sound. Not a lot of intrusion coming in through the windows, but it's also not like an echo chamber in here, just really good acoustics. And of course you have that slight rumble from the 6.2 liter, which is kind of soothing. And like the prior Sierras that I reviewed, the Sierra Denali's in particular, the seats hold up really well. They're borderline stiff, but really good for back support. And of course they're fully adjustable and having the heated cooled seat function makes all the difference. Because on a day like today, where the sun's out, shining bright, but it's still a little chilly out, it's nice to be able to toggle between the lowest level on the heated seat and the lowest level on the cooled seat, just to keep you at that perfect temperature. And with the black seats, you'll probably be siding more towards the cool seat function, and that's why it's so great to have, because 
it'll definitely keep you from getting too hot. And I said magnetic ride control earlier, but it's actually the adaptive ride control for the Denali pickup trucks. But this is going to bring me to the end of my review of the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Limited.